everybody, it's Cameron, t and today we are going to do a video review on Transformers Cybertron Buzzsaw. Now, before we get into the review, as you see, I have a new setup for my reviews, those which I hope you guys will like. Like, um, getting into the figure, which is a repaint, and a little bit of a retool of Armada Cyclonus. I won't go over what's what's been uh, remolded, but uh, for the paint, he's yellow with um, maroon red on the wings. He's uh, he has the purple rotor, purple missiles, purple wings right here. Um, the Cepticon symbol right there. Or uh, um, green on the windows. Oh, and oh, uh, white wings. And that's about it um, for accessories. He is loaded with guns on him, basically. He um, guns here on each side, guns on the bottom, missiles, and some other guns on the um, fr in the front. Uh, there's this little gun, he the these this double gun here, and this little gun right here. Here, um, and that's it for accessories. He's now, of course, he is in the Cybertron line, so he does have a Cyber Planet key, which he can use. Now, the best thing about this is that you can actually activate the missiles in two ways. One, it's good to activate with your finger, as you see, and hit pretty far. The other isn't you can't do, so you do need the Cyber Planet key. Bring this here. Now, you're gonna want to push this in, and easily it can be unattached. Set these to the side. Another gimmick he has is you pull this right here, and he gets the spinning rotor, which makes an annoying sound, which I do not like. Um. While doing that, it also makes these guns move. Let me show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it does do it a little bit. But um, this part does open up because in Armada, actually, he was able to put a minicon in there. So I don't know if you can do that with this figure, but if you get like maybe the same minicon. Or something like it, you can do that. Again, also you can attach mini cons on this guy. He does have those mini con ports. I don't have one of mine actually in here. But down to transformation. Let's start with the leg parts. Take the legs and bring them up, bring them down. And then click them in. You're gonna take the legs, unbend them, and clip them in. Then you're going to take this, this whole piece right here, rotate it, and then take this, lay it flat. Next up, you're going to take this whole back piece, and then bend it, and then you're going to hear a click. Next up, take, and also take these guns, put them back, back and then they'll be heel spurs. Take the um, take the arms and unfold them like so. Uh, now take the head, flip it up, and there we got Cybertron Buzzsaw. Uh, and he looks good. There are now, of course, the original was Armada Cyclonus. And then there was Energon Cyclonus, and the, here's um, Buzzsaw here. Yeah, but um, overall, a good figure. Uh, articulation, he doesn't have much, but arms can go up a, a little under 90 degrees. Uh, I guess I'm moving up um, elbows. Up about um, 90 degrees. Uh, same with the other arm. Legs, 
they can go hmm, yeah a little over 90 degrees now you can unbend the legs but you have to, it's like untabbing it but they go way uh, uh, oh, under over 90 degrees there uh, <clears throat> head waist uh, you could move it if it wasn't in the if this part here wasn't in the way um head sculpt I like the head sculpt it looks nice um uh, what else oh head does not move at all overall this guy is good if I was to pick out one of these between um uh uh, Inner John and Cyclonus or Armada Cyclonus or this um, repaint I would choose um, you know if you didn't like Cyclonus look, let me just take this figure away real quick I'm just inserting back in the missiles let's bring them back alright now if you guys want to if you guys didn't like the character in Armada or Energon, uh, I'd say get this because the articulation isn't different and you don't get the Minicon, you know, which is kind of too bad. Uh, but um, overall, I like the figure. It's good. It's um, a nice figure for just to look at and play with sometimes. I got this guy for 12 bucks with all his accessories put together. I don't know if he would be worth money if he didn't have all his accessories. I got this guy at BotCon. So if you guys are going to buy this guy on eBay or something, I'd say get him there. But overall, um, I'd say if you see this figure at a garage sale or find him on eBay, I'd say get him. He's a good figure. Her and overall has a lot of potential. I do think I want to repaint this guy though. But, uh, don't get me wrong, I like his paint scheme, but I want to do a different color. Er, well, anyway, that wraps up my reviews. I hope you guys all, all like the new setup. Goodbye.